Hello, good morning. My name is Ty, and I am a junior. Hi, my name is Claire, and I am a freshman. Hi, my name is Ava. I am a freshman, and we are Team 1718, the Fighting Pi. We maintain a network of future leaders that foster the advancement of STEM within their community, state, nation, and world. Founded 17 years ago, our team has grown to 23 students and 14 mentors. 100% of our team graduate, 99% attend higher education, 98% pursue a STEM-related career path. 40% of our lead team leadership is female, and 100% of alumni credit their successes for our team. Our students accumulate over 1,000 work hours at the Armada Fair, interacting with fairgoers and volunteering for our sponsors. We run robot demonstrations every 15 minutes, 12 hours a day, for a seven-day period, interacting with approximately 8,400 attendees per year. We invite other FRC and FTC teams to demonstrate alongside us, connecting first students with their peers. 25% of our team state that they have joined first because of this event. At our participation at the Muscular Dystrophy Association Camp, we provided campers the opportunity to drive our robot. Due to our initiative, our team name was mentioned at the NDA National Assembly. We have also demonstrated at the Selfridge Air National Guard Air Show, the Henry Ford Maker Fair, Starbase, and to our local 8th graders. Effectively adapting to last year's first at home, our team stayed connected through online meetings, industry professional interviews, and international chairman's chat. Being the challenges of the pandemic, our team produced and donated over 1,100 pieces of PPE, 687 face masks, 350 face shields, and 150 mass savers for local frontline. We've collaborated with teams from Shoham Israel, Mumbai India, and Gebzi Turkey, allowing them insight into our publications, organizational tools, and sustainability practices, ensuring extending our outreach to first teams across the globe. Due to our participation in the 2019 Michigan Defense Expo, Two of our team members were invited by Wayne State University Professor Yan Chao Lu to partake in his CAD, Code, and 3D Print Drones for his Drone Swarm initiative, showcasing the career-building opportunities that FIRST provides. We sustain our relationships with our sponsors by sending them our team newsletter, inviting them to our end-of-year banquet, hosting open houses, giving in-person online presentations, volunteering at their food booths, and visiting Special Forces Association homebound veterans. We display their logos on our shirt, website, and banner, showing our appreciation for their support. To assist second and third year FRC and FTC teams in Michigan, we start our annual Infinite Possibilities Grant. These grants are entirely student-funded and judged, allowing financially struggling, under-resourced teams to become more sustainable. Over the past eight years, we have awarded $7,000. Each year, our team runs and hosts an official FLL qualifying event or made automation. This event provides 24 FLL challenge teams with opportunities for discovery and innovation. Our students, mentors, and alumni volunteer at this event as judges, referees, and student ambassadors acting as role models for younger students. Our team mentors FTC, FLL Challenge, and FLL Explore team, inspiring younger students' journey of first into high school. We attend annual FLL formation meetings and teach CAD, 3D printing, programming, robot design, and teamwork to FTC and FLL teams, and invite FRC teams to utilize our practice field. Our students implemented lunch and learn gathering, lunch and Our students implemented lunch and learn discussions at our daily mealtime gatherings, infusing team culture and educating within all subgroups. These student-conducted sessions cycle between team attributes and robot components, allowing students to practice their first attained skills collaborative teamwork, dynamic leadership, and effective public speaking. Our students implemented our marketing plan that's currently being applied to all team social media accounts such as Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. This intentional plan was to help increase public awareness of Team 1718, including trialing new social media posts, utilization of optimal posting times, and productive employment of platform data to ensure a relevant internet presence. Since the introduction of our plan, the amount of accounts reached on Instagram alone has climbed by 3,210%. Our team supported the formation of the Macomb Local Advocacy Conference and the Macomb Robotics Showcase, advocating for local elected officials on STEM programs. We also helped form the goals of the Macomb Robotics Alliance, providing resources to FRC teams throughout the county. We were able to speak to attendees from across the country at the first Advocacy Conference of Texas about the process of creating state-level advocacy conferences. Two of our students extended their advocacy efforts on a global scale at the United Nations. 
They're invited to speak on a panel about the equality of women in STEM at the International Day for Women in Science event. This event was broadcast on international news stations, spreading first message of equity and inclusion. We participate in the National Advocacy Conference, NAC, to advocate for the Every Student Succeeds Act, Title IV, Part A, Academic Enrichment Grant, presenting the benefits of FIRST and providing personal testimonies to our senators, policy advisors, and representatives. Our team name was invited to be one of the 13 teams on the NAC Advisory Council. Our team was invited to be one of the five founding charter members of the Student Association for STEM Advocacy due to our ongoing advocacy efforts. We raised $5,000 to support this new organization, enhancing the education, engagement, and mobilization of FIRST and STEM advocates. Our annual Michigan Advocacy Conference, the first student-initiated and led advocacy conference in the nation, creates a more informed culture of STEM. For five years, over 150 attendees from 20 different teams have spoke to their state elected officials about the importance of increasing after-school STEM program funding in Section 99H of the Michigan State Budget. For MAC 2021, we create a student experience panel allowing new advocates to learn and interact with experienced local, state, national, and international advocates, ensuring the future of first advocacy. Overcoming the challenges of our small farm town, Team 1718 creates a network of future leaders and creates infinite possibilities. Thank you. Do you have any questions? 